Hello, in this session, we will create a grid wave using the Niagara system. First, create by adding an empty emitter to the Niagara system. Next. Create a grid location in Particle Spawn, then click the Fix Issue button that appears due to the error, and additionally create Spawn Particle in Grid to generate particles in a grid shape. Then, in Spawn Particle in Grid, set the values for the rows of grids X, Y, Z, and adjust the size of the particle in Initialize Particle, then set the spacing of the particles in Grid Location. Next, to prevent the particle from disappearing after being created once, select Self for Life Cycle Mode in Emitter State and set Loop Behavior to Once. And to make the particles unaffected by lifetime, uncheck Kill Particle when lifetime has elapsed in particle state. Next, create a new Scratchpad module. To refer to Grid Position, set Position in Map Get Node and set Float Type Input Value. Then, connect to Position Pin through Break Position node to set the direction of the wave and create a divide node, and connect the float type input value created earlier and the X pin of break position to set the width of the wave in the X axis direction. Next, to receive the time value in map get node, add real time and create float type input value to control the speed of that time, and multiply them with a multiply node. Next. Use an Add node to add Divide and Multiply so that the wave moves in the x-axis direction over time. And to create the waveform of the wave, connect a Sign node to the Add node. Now set this wave-like movement as a float-type particle attribute so it can be used in other modules. We will name this value wave. Next, to set the movement and color of the grid, set scale color and system location in particle update. To set the current grid position, set make vector in the offset of system location to divide into x, y, z, and reset position using make float from vector filter in x and y values as in the video. And in the z value, after adding a multiply float filter, set the wave created in the scratch module to set the height of the grid wave. Next, if you set the values in the scratch module as in the video, you can see the wave appearing on the grid. Finally, change scale RGB in scale color to linear color and set it to lerp linear color. And after setting the desired colors, if you set wave to lerp factor, the color is applied to the grid. To easily move the Niagara system at the level, check Local Space in Properties. Now place the Niagara system at the level and check if it makes waves.